For this example, c of x equals 0 0.02 x squared plus 100 x plus 2000 represents the cost in dollars of producing x radios. Part A, we're going to find the average cost function. The notation is c bar x equals the total cost cx all divided by x. Just to set it up, since the cost is 0 0.02 x squared plus 100x plus 2000. So we divide this total cost by x, which means we divide each term of the numerator by x. That gives us the c bar of x in the simplified form 0 0.02 times x because x and x squared reduced plus 100 x and x will, they will be canceled out and then the last term would be 2000 divided by x. In part b we're going to find the average cost of producing 1000 radios or we are going to find the c bar at 1000. We're going to use the c bar x function that we derived in part a. So c bar at 1000, replace x with the 1000 value is 0 0.02 multiplied by 1000 plus 100 plus 2000 divided by 1000. And then simplify to be the first term, we should get 20. The second term remain as 100. The last term is 2. Therefore, we're going to get the number 122 as the average cost per item after producing 1,000 items. And in part C, we're going to find the marginal average cost if 1,000 radios are produced or we're going to find the C prime, C bar prime at 1000. We got the C bar X in part A. I'm going to rewrite. So the average cost here is the C bar of the X marginal, means we find the derivative of the C bar X. Okay. C bar x is 0 0.02 times x plus 100. And we're going to rewrite the last term as the power form with the coefficient 2000. This is 2000 times 1 over x. Another form that we can see in the obvious way is 0 0.02x plus 100 plus 2000 times x to the negative first to get ready to find the derivative. Now the process of finding the derivative, we just follow the power rule and the constant multiple and also the sum rule. The first term 0.02x gonna give us the derivative 0.02. The second term 100, which is the constant term, the derivative is zero. The third term is the constant multiple, the power function. The constant multiple 2000 remain where it is as a coefficient or the constant multiple. And the derivative of x to the negative first is the negative one times x to the negative one minus one or negative second. Now we rewrite in the simplified form to get 0 0.02 negative psi for the last term. And it becomes 2000 times x to the power negative second or 0 0.02 minus 2000 times 1 over x squared. So the whole number 2000 divided by x squared. So either form. So this is the marginal average cost function.